Yeah, I think for the first time, you know, to be able to just, we're in shells, so we're not in full gear yet. Um, tomorrow we'll get a chance to put all the pads on and kind of cut it loose a little bit. But for the first time out to get used to the pads a little bit and fly around, guys are doing a good job. What do you hope to see from them tomorrow with the full gear on? Oh, same thing, you know, same thing, get better every day, improve, uh, you know, we're practicing a lot of guys, obviously, in spring is what it's all about. And uh, give guys opportunity to, to get their feet wet in real football and so anxious to see some of the young guys play. You had a big senior class and a few of your returning starters are sitting out. Um, how are players that are stepping into first and second team spots handling uh, things early Good, on? good, yeah. You know, every day is a learning opportunity for everyone. And uh, like I said, that's what practice is for, you know. so. Um, you have to work through those things. You take the opportunity to get better. You don't get better if you don't make mistakes. And so we want them to play fast. And if they make a mistake, we'll learn from it on tape. And then, you know, take the opportunity to the next practice to get better. You've got two uh, gray shirt recruits out there, Deshaun and Rodney. How did you see them take advantage of that extra time before they came in? And how are they looking so far? Yeah, good. It's good. I think, you know, they both came. They got an opportunity to be in winter conditioning and things like that. So. Uh, being in the weight room and doing all the running and kind of understanding a little bit what's going on. They both learned it really well, really fast. And so now again, every single day is about getting adjusted to the speed of the game at this level. Uh, so far, they've done a really good job. Coach, what are you expecting to see out of Grimm in the spring as he's a senior moving on? What, what, what are you hoping to see out of him this year? Improvement, just like anybody else, you know, to, to be a guy that we can count on and uh, he's got a lot of tools, and so uh, he's a guy that we need to, to be consistent and that we can count on, and that's, that's again, that's what practice is all about. You know, everybody get a lot of reps. We're young at that position, but, um, you know, the guys are doing a good job so far, and we'll continue to learn each and every day. Speaking of reps, I saw you taking some reps, throwing some uh, passes there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, with only three quarterbacks, I got to throw that little pat-and-go drill, so. Uh, felt good actually. Yeah, I, I'll be a little sore tomorrow probably though. Speaking of which, uh, we didn't talk about this. I know you talked about Jackson about it. Uh, Hunter, um, is, is it difficult to just have three quarterbacks instead of four uh, that you're hoping to have in the spring? Uh, no, it's okay. I mean, there's certain drills that you know you'd like to have four because there's four stations going on, but we'll be fine there, and it gives the other three guys more opportunity to get in and get more quality reps you know so it's hard trying to rep four quarterbacks and so now with only three uh, it's a good opportunity for them to get a lot of turns. Does that development make the quarterback position a priority recruiting wise late in the game? Uh, we got some other guys coming mm -hmm. you know so um, you know but every positions you know you got to keep your eye on every position but that's one yes I mean you can't go into the season with three quarterbacks you know so we'll have we'll have four to five quarterbacks once camp starts.